गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई डॉक्टर देवेश बांदिल एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी एक्टेड बाय नेक ए ग्रेड टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट डबली लिंक लिस्ट एंड सर्कुलर लिंक लिस्ट एंड आल्सो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिंगली लिंक लिस्ट यू नो योर सिंगली लिंक लिस्ट डबली लिंक लिस्ट एंड योर circular link list these are your all types of your link list before discuss about uh, single link list double link list and your circular link list i will discuss about uh, link list only i will give overview of your uh, link list because if you don't know about the link list i hope you can't understand uh, about the double link list and your circular link list you know link list link list is link list is the topic of your data structure and algorithm if we will talk about the objective and uh, outcome of your data structure and algorithm objective of this paper are main emphasize in your data structure algorithm how to write the algorithm this is the object of this paper for understand the concept of your stack queue data structure searching and your sorting and if we will talk about the outcome of this paper that is your data structure and algorithm A student will able to write the algorithm also A student will able to understand the concept of your stack queue link list graph and tree and uh, a student will able to how to implement the stack how to implement the queue how to implement the link list okay and uh, now in this lecture i will discuss about uh, double link list single link list and your circular link list and now i am presenting my ppt i hope you can see my ppt in this lecture first of all i will discuss about object and outcome of your double link list and your circular link list after that uh, i will also explain the what is your link list what is your single link list types of your link list like your you know i had uh, also told double link list and your circular link list these are the all types of your link list and in this lecture i will also explain the singly link list double link list and your circular link list before starting the double link list and your circular link list first of all i will explain about your link list you know in my previous lectures i had already discussed about uh, link list link list link list is the collection of your nodes where your one node is connect from the another node suppose you are having a link list and in which uh, suppose there are five nodes so your first node will connect from your second node 
your second node will connect to from your third node your third node will connect to from your fourth node your fourth node will connect to from from your fifth node and you know in your link list your uh, first node is your head node means you will your head will point to your first node and uh, your last node last node will point to the your null node your null you know null is your pointer null null is the indication through the null pointer you can identify that the, your that is your last node because your last node always will point to the null okay and also if you want to apply the traversing operation on your link list you know traversing traversing means when you will visit the all node when you will traverse the all node so then your null null is the identification through the null you can identify you have already visited the all nodes of your link list and you know head head is the indication your link list will start from your this node you know i had told your first node will point to the head so head is the indication head is the identification your link list will start from this node and you know your uh, link list your link list is your linear data structure unlike uh, array link list elements are not stored in your continuous location the elements are linked using pointers as per i had told in your link list your first node will connect from your second node your second node will connect from your third node and you know your node your node is consisted from the two parts from consisted from two rooms in your first room is for uh, data and second room is for pointer which which point to the next node okay that's why i had told in your link list your uh, all elements are linked using the pointer if you are using the link list you know link list link list is your collection of your nodes link list link list is the collection of your elements and same is your array your array is collection of your elements of your same type so why you will use the link list you know array can be used to store linear data of similar types but array have some following limitations array have some drawbacks your first drawback is your the size of the array is fixed your first drawback is that your size of the array is fixed so must know the upper limit on the number of elements in advance generally allocated memory is equal to the upper limit irrespective of the uses so your first limitation of your array is that the size of array is your fix and uh, second limitation is that inserting a new element in the array of element is expensive because room has to be created for the new elements and to create room existing elements have to be shifted so there are two limitations of your array first is your size of the array is fix and second when you want to insert the item in your uh, element that is your expensive because the room has to be already created for the new elements and to create room existing elements have to be shifted so these are the two limitations when you are using the array and uh, if we will talk about the advantage and disadvantage over array advantage over array is your dynamic size second is your easy and insertion and deletion 
एंड वेयर योर अरे योर अरे हैज फिक्स आई एंड वेन यू वॉन्ट टू इंसर्ट एंड डिलीट द एलिमेंट इन योर अरे दैट इज स्लाइडली टिपिकल कंपेयर दैन योर लिंक लिस्ट दैट्स वाई आई हैड टोल्ड एडवांटेज ओवर अरे फर्स्ट इज योर डायनेमिक साइज एंड सेकेंड इज योर इजी ऑफ इंसर्सन एंड डिलीशन एंड ड्रॉबैक ड्रॉबैक रैंडम एक्सेस इज नॉट अलाउड okay we have to access the element sequentially starting from the first node so we can not do binary search with linked list efficiently with its default implementation so your drawback is that random access is not allowed when we want to access the element so your elements access of your element will start from your first node and second is your extra memory space for a pointer is required you know if we will talk about the programming language when you will create a any variable when you will create the any variable so your variable will take the space in your memory every variable having address every variable having location in your memory in the same manner if you are uh, using the uh, pointer in your link list so obviously your link list uh, your obviously your pointer will take the space in your memory and uh, third advantage is that no cache friendly since array elements are continuous allocation there is a locality of reference which is not there in case of your link list so these are the drawbacks first drawback is there are at random access is not allowed and second extra memory space for a pointer is required and third is no case friendly so these are the limitations and uh, representation of your link list as per i had told your node your node will consist from your two part first part is your data and second part is your next in your data part you will insert the data and your uh, next part your next room will point to the null here i had taken four nodes and your you can see in this given slide your all node will connected each other in your first node in your data part i have to inserted a inserted a element and in your next part of your first node will point to the b node you know your b is the data part of your next node and the pointer part of your second node will point to the third node that is your uh, c means c is your uh, data part of your third node and your next pointer of your third node will point to the fourth node where your uh, d data part is your fourth node and the uh, pointer of your fourth node will point to the null so you know you can see null Null is the indication. Null is the identification that your list has already finished. Okay, and and uh, I had told your head, your head will indicate to your first node. Okay, and now if we will talk about the types of your linked list. types of a linked list uh, means your singly linked list your doubly linked list and your circular linked list okay if uh, i will talk about the singly linked list the navigation of item from only forward means the navigation of item from only one end that is your forward this is your singly linked list 
I had already discussed about your signaling list, where your uh, all nodes are connected through the, uh, each other, and your uh, node node will consist from the two part. First part uh, is your data, and second part is your pointer head. Head is the indication for your your uh, list have to be started from this node. Means head will point to your first node, as per I had told, and your. Uh, Null, null is the identification that your linked list ha ha has to be finished. Okay. So means in in your single linked list main key focus uh, key point is that navigation of item is on uh, is from only forward. Okay. So here. i am talking about the single link list double link list and your circular link list and uh, i will discuss uh, all type of your uh, linked list one by one first i am talking about the single link list as per i had told single link list is a type of your link list that is undirectional that is it can be traversed in only from one direction from head to the last node okay means as per i had told your single list your single link list that is your undirectional that is it can be traversed in only one direction from head to your tail means you will start from the head node to the last node means first of all you will visit the you will traverse the first node of your linked list after that you will traverse the second node after that you will traverse the third node after that you will traverse the fourth node and uh, in your last you will traverse the last node okay that is your tail and if we will talk about the double link list so the double link list is the variation of your link list in which navigation is possible from both end navigation is possible from both end from both end means from your forward and from your backward and where if we will talk about the single link list so in your single link list your navigation of item is possible from only forward means your uh, navigation of our item at from the forward and uh, in your double link list the navigation of items from the both direction means uh, your forward and your backward so in your double link list as per i had told your navigation is possible in both way either forward and your backward as compared to the single link list because in your single link link list navigation of item at your forward only and uh, there are main key points of your double link list means you will focus these points of your double link list first first is your link you know each link of your link list can store a data called an element and uh, next next is a another key point each link of your link list contain a link to the next link called the next and your previous means prev each link of your link list contain a link to the previous link called the previous and uh, linked list a link list contain the connection link to the first link called the first and the last link called the last so these are the all key points of your double link list main key point main you will focus in your double link list the navigation of item is possible from uh, backward and uh, at from your forward
here i had taken a slide in which i had represented the doubly linked list you know i had told your in your doubly linked list navigation of item from both end so as per uh, the doubly linked list i had uh, shown a slide in which you can see your in your node your previous is already exist and your next is already exist means your node is divided into your uh, three rooms into your three parts first is your previous second is your for data element and third is your for next and in your second node your uh, b b is your previous next sorry b is your data part okay and first part is your previous and next and third part is your next okay and you can see in this uh, given slide your arrow is a forward also and your arrow from your backward also so this is your doubly linked list okay and uh, you know double link list to contain a link element called the first and your last and uh, each link carries a data field and two link field called the next and your previous you can see in this uh, given slide previous and your next each link is linked with uh, its uh, next link using its next link each link is linked with its or previous link using its or previous link the last link carries a link as your null to mark end of the list you can see in this slide null null is point to your last node so means null null is the indication null is the identification your link list has already finished means you have to traverse you have to visited the all nodes of your link list and now i will talk about the operations of your double link list there are so many operations of double link list like your insertion deletion insertion last deletion last insertion after delete display forward and your display backward i will discuss uh, about the all operations of your uh, double link list insertion insertion means when you will insert the item when you will insert the item at the beginning of your list and if we will talk about the deletion so delete an element at the beginning of your list when i will talk about the insert last so add an element at the end of the list delete last delete an element from the end of the list insert after add an element after an item of the list delete delete an item from the last using the key display forward display the complete list in your forward manner display back, back, backward display the complete list in your backward manner so these are the all operations of your double link list if we will talk about the insertion operation there are so many operation as per i had told and here i will discuss about the insertion operation and your deletion operation insert link link at your first location so insert first insert first is your function name and your key and data key and data are the two arguments first of all you will create the link and uh, you will create uh, uh, the space through your malloc fun malloc function and first 
first key will assign into a link and data data will already assign and uh, you know if uh, is your empty so make it the last link is your equal to the link else if uh, update your previous link means your link will assign to your head and uh, point to your first link and your head head will assign to your next point you know your point first to new first link head equal to link and if we will talk about the delete operation of your double link list delete operation means when you will delete the node okay so first of all you will create the node your delete first and uh, first of all you will save the reference of your first link okay so that is your temp link and your head will assign into your temp link and if your head head point to the your null so means uh, last equal to null and in your else part your null will assign to your previous and your head head uh, will connect to your next and you will return the delete link and your return the temp after discussed about the double link list your third type of your double link list sorry third type of your link list is your circular link list you know from the name circular circular means in your circle shape means your nodes will placed in your circle shape in your circle your first node will be placed after that your second third fourth fifth and sixth means your last node is near about on your first node because i am talking about the circular link list i am talking about a circle if you are taking a circle so obviously your first node your first element will near about to your last element okay so in your circular link list circular link list is a variation of your link list in which the first element point to the last element here i am talking about the circle so you know in your circle your as per i had told in your circular shape first of all you will insert the first first item second item third item fourth item fifth item and your sixth item suppose your sixth item is your last node and your first item first node and your first first is your first uh, first node your first item so you can imagine in your circular shape your first node is near about to your last node that is your sixth node so in your circular link list you can say that your uh, first node your first node your first element point to your last element and the last element will point to the first element both single link list and your double link list can be made into your circular list okay so the main key point main key focus in your circular layer, circular link list your first element will point to the last element and your last element will point to the first element because you are taking a circular shape you can see your single link list as your circular where i had taken the three nodes okay your first node will connect to your second node your second node will connect to your th uh, third node and also you can see in this uh, given slide your last node will point to your first node 
means your next part of your last node means you will point to the your first node okay and in your first node will point to your last node and now also you can see sorry in your uh, single link list your uh, first node will point to your last node and in your circular link list you can see here both arrow from your previous of your first node will connect from your next of your last node and your next and your previous previous will connect from your next uh, next will connect from your previous that is your double link list in your circular way you can see your first arrow you can see your uh, arrow will pointed to the previous of your first node and your will connect from your next of your last node and also you can see previous previous of your last node <coughs> will point to your first node means your previous of your last node will point to the previous of your first node and now i will discuss about the basic operations of your circular link list basically there are three operations of your circular link list first is your insertion operation second is your deletion operation and third is your display so in your insert when you will insert item delete when you will delete the item and in your display when you will display the all items all items of your link list first i am talking about the insert of op insert operation so in your insert operation you will uh, begin from uh, you will begin for uh, from the create a new node when you will create the node first of all you will assign the data and if your list is empty your node will assign into your head if the list is your empty your node will point to the head which node you want to insert obviously if your link list is empty empty there is no node in your link list so when you will insert the new node in your link list so your head node will point to your inserted node your head your head will point to the inserted node because your link list is empty and when you have to insert the new item in your link list that time you know your head always will point to your first node that's why here your uh, node is to be head and the next node to be equal to the head and in your else part head will assign to your temp and while next is to temp is not head you will start the loop and your next of uh, uh, temp will assign to your temp variable okay and your head will assign in, into your uh, next of node and your node will assign to your next of temp and node will assign to your head and uh, if your condition will start obviously your condition should be finished and if your procedure will start your procedure should be finished and uh, after that if we will talk about the delete operation of your uh, link list of your uh, sorry circular link list first of all you will make the function for your delete first and you will start if your uh, head is null you can say your underflow your list is empty your list is underflow and you will return okay you know if your list is empty so you can't delete the any items from your link list from your list okay 
or any and also you know your head will always point to your first node okay so if your head is null so means your your list is empty your list is blank there is a uh, no any node in your uh, list and uh, else if and the head will assign to your next of head and uh, your null your null will assign to your head and uh, you will deallocate the memory obviously you know when you will take the any variable so your variable will take the space in your memory okay and uh, in the same manner if you if you will delete the node if you will delete the element obviously you will remove the memory which memory occupy by the node so here if you will delete the node from your uh, linked list so you will obviously deallocate the memory and if you have and if you have to insert a node so obviously you will uh, deallocate and uh, your point head will point to your pointer while next of pointer is not head so your next of pointer will assign to your pointer and your next of head deallocate head to your next of pointer okay you know suppose there are three nodes in your linked list and you have to delete the first node so that time your head will point to the next node okay because you have to already deleted the first node and you know head will always point to, to the first node and if you will delete the first node from your linked list so always your head will point to the next node Okay, and uh, after finish this lecture, I am taking the some questions. of your uh, w linked list and your circular linked link list i hope uh, students can give the answer which are related from your w linked list and your circular linked list which of the following is not a disadvantage to the uses of your array i am talking about the following is not a disadvantage first is your fixed size second option is your there are chances of wastage of memory space if element inserted in an array are lesser than the allocate size insertion based on position accessing elements at your at the specified position so you know i am talking about the is not a disadvantage obviously your uh, accessing elements at a specified position is not a disadvantage of the to the uses of your array and which is which of these not an application of your linked list to implement to implement the file system for separate chaining in your hash table 
to implement a non non binary tree and random access of elements here i am talking about the not an application so you know implement of file system is the application of your linked list for separate chaining in your hash tables application of your linked list to implement the non binary tree is also application of your linked list so random access of your elements is not a application of your linked list and non linear data structure non linear data structure you know array array is your linear data structure q q is your linear data structure stack stack is your linear data structure and your tree tree is your non linear data structure so your your answer is that your d and your array q stack these are the non linear data structure and you know your uh, cat data type have 32 bit size is your uh, one byte and in your linked list implementation of a queue which does not a new element to be inserted at the head of linked list at the center position in your linked list at the tail of the linked list at any position in the linked list you know i had told if you want to insert the any item in your uh, linked list so there is no any foundation that uh, you will insert uh, the item from only starting end from only last end and from only middle end you can insert the item from any end so here your best your best suitable answer is your at any position in the linked list at the head of the linked list also you know you can insert the item at the center position in the linked list you can insert the item at the tail of the linked list you can insert the item at any position in the linked list this is your best answer this is your suitable answer for this question so your answer will be d at any position in the linked list after studied this lecture a student uh, will able to give the following sort type of questions like why linked list is needed so why linked list is needed because i had already told your array your array have uh, array has some limitation like your fixed size your array always have a fixed size this is the limitation that's why your linked list is needed what is your doubly linked list in your doubly linked list the navigation of item is possible from both end from your backward and from your forward means your navigation of item is possible from both ends what is your circular linked list you know your uh, circular linked list your uh, circular linked list means where your first item will connect from your last item and your last item will connect from your first item means in your circular linked list you will take a circular shape and in your circular shape your first node will connect from your last node and your last node will connect from your first node and uh, also after study this lecture a student will also able to what are the operations of your doubly linked list what are the operation of your singly linked list what are the op operations of your circular linked list 
i hope you have understood about uh, the single link list about the circular link list and about the double link list thank you